Hey guys, Tom Chomik here, the lead engineer and creator behind the Panelskin platform. And this is part two to our introduction to Panelskin, uh, where we go over some of our new tools, such as the blur feature uh, and nadir patching. So I thought it may, might make sense to start with a blur tool. Uh, and the way you access the blur tool is under the upload photo section uh, of, your, of your tour. And by clicking on the blue blur icon over the image that you want to blur, and once you do that, it does open up the tool. Now it does take a little bit of time to load because we do prepare the scene for blurring. But once the scene is ready, uh, you do have uh, all these tools up here uh, to be able to blur your scene. Uh, so one of the first tools that I want to draw your attention to is the pan tool. Uh, when this is selected, uh, it allows you to pan around the image. The second tool and probably the most important one uh, is the blur tool itself. Uh, so you can select it by clicking on it. Uh, and what that does is it gives you a tool tip that you can use to blur different regions of your image. So you can, you can uh, select the region that you want uh, and you can do a fine control here. As you can see, I, could, I can blur certain fine regions. Or you can, you can, you can uh, draw a circle around the region that you want to blur. And our tool will, will blur that entire region. The third tool I want to draw your attention to, attention to is the erase tool. So if I select this tool here, what that does is it opens up a red tool tip uh, that I can use to do either a fine erase of different areas or draw a circle around the area that I want to that I want to erase the blur from. And once I'm happy, I click save. At that point, what Panelskin does is it uploads your blurred image to our servers. And once you're done blurring all your images, if you go to the build tour step, you can see in the preview pane that any of the scenes that you've blurred do show up in the preview. Now, one thing to quickly note about the preview within the build tour step is that the images that we load into the preview are of a lower quality. And the reason we do this is so the build tour step runs faster. When you do click publish to Google Street View though, we use the same high quality images that you uploaded in the upload photo section. So if I were to go to publish to Google and click publish, then you would see that we publish the same high quality scenes that you've uploaded, only this time with a blur added to your images. And if I were to go to maps.google.com and take a look at my contributions, you can see the scene that I just uploaded and all the blurs that we added using the Panelskin tool. Now, one thing worth mentioning if I were to go back to uh, to the tour that we just published uh, and try blurring one of the published published scenes, you would see that we get an error uh, that lets us know that you cannot blur a scene that has already been published. The reason for this is because your scene is already up on Google. So in order to blur it or to remove a blur, you do have to unpublish that scene. So in this case, if I were to go back to the publish step, and click unpublish, it would prompt me letting me know that it's about to remove all my scenes from Google. And if I click OK, this would take my scenes down from Google. And once that's done, if I went back to the upload photos section, you'd see that I'm able to blur the images that were previously published. In addition to that, if one of the scenes had a blur, I can use the eraser tool, 
to erase that blur. And retrieve my original image. And if I were to click Save now, you would see that PanelSkin now takes the scene and uploads it back to our servers. At this point, if I were to go back to the Publish to Google step and click Publish, then you would see that the scenes that get uploaded to Google, where I remove the blur, no longer have the blur. So with Panel Skin, you can use the Blur tool to add blurs to your images, but you can also use the Blur tool to remove blurs from your images, restoring the original image that you had. So let's go back to Panel Skin and talk about adding nadirs. There are two types of nadirs within Panel Skin. There's the account level nadir and tour level nadir. I'll first show you how to add an account level nadir. To add an account level nadir, go to your account settings. Once in your account settings, click on the nadir tab. At this point, you can see that I don't have a nadir added to this account. To add a nadir to this account, all I do is click to add a nadir. Once I've done that, I can either drag and drop my nadir, or I can click on the screen to select a nadir file. At this point, PanelSkin is creating my nadir. And once the nadir has been added, you can see I get a message telling me the nadir has been added, alongside a preview of what my nadir, account level nadir, will look like. In this instance, I've uploaded an account level nadir with our LCP360 logo. And this nadir will get applied to all of my tours unless I override that within the tour settings. So let's navigate back to our tour and see this in action. As with the blur tool, in order to add a nadir, you can only add nadirs to unpublished scenes. Once the scene's been published to Google Street View, you do have to take the scene down in order to add a nadir to it. In this particular tour, as you can tell, I already have three published scenes. So I can either unpublish each of these manually, or I can go back to the Publish to Google step and click Unpublish to remove all my scenes from Google Street View. Now once your scenes are done unpublishing, all you have to do is click Publish, and your account level nadir will get applied to all the scenes that are published during the Publish step. And if I go to my Maps Contributions, then you can see that my nadir was added to all three of these scenes. And if I click on one of the scenes, you can see that the nadir was added to the bottom of my scene. But what if you don't want to have an account level nadir show up on one of your tours? How would you go about doing that? Well, I created a tour to demo just that. And in this tour, we only have one scene for demo purposes. Now what I can do is rather than just clicking publish, I can upload an idea before doing so. And similar to the account level nadir, Panos can create a nadir for me and gives me a status message that a nadir has been added. And if I click this nadir button again, I can see the nadir that I just uploaded. 
In this instance, I uploaded a panel skin nadir that I want applied to all the scenes on this tour. Now if I click publish, rather than using the account level nadir, panel skin will use the tour level nadir and apply that to all the scenes during the publish step. And if I go back to Google Maps and take a look at my contributions, then you can see for the scene that I just uploaded, the tour level nadir was used instead of the account level nadir. Let's unpublish this tour and republish it again. Only this time, I'm going to deselect the apply tour nadir and click publish. What this will do is it will tell Panelskin not to apply a nadir to this tour. And if I go back to maps and take a look at my contributions, then you can see that the scene that I just uploaded does not have a nadir. Even though I uploaded a tour level nadir previously and also have an account level nadir. By deselecting the apply nadir option, I'm telling Panelskin that I don't want to have neither of these applied to the tour. Now, some reasons why you may want to do this is if you've previously created your own nadirs before in the past. If you don't want to have an account level nadir or a tour level nadir get appended to those tours when you publish new scenes or unpublish and republish those tours, then you want to deselect this option. One of the features I'd like to touch on in the screencast is the ability to create multiple users within Panelskin. To create another user within Panelskin, navigate to your user section. Once there, click Add. Now, I'd like to note that previously, we weren't allowing you to create more than one user for your account. However, we've changed this. You can now create multiple users for your account within Panelskin. To do so, just enter a new user username. and email, select a temporary password, and put in the first name, for your new, new user. Once you've done that, your new user was created. And that new user can now use those credentials to log in Now once that new user logs into the system, they'll have to go through the welcome step just as you did. Now one thing to note, when they reach the authorization step, they will have to authorize their own Google account. This is because we can't authorize the same Google account for multiple users. And just as you did, the user will have the opportunity of selecting a new password, providing the location information, and accepting our terms before being able to use the system. Now one advantage to being able to create multiple administrative users is those users will have access to the same tours that you built within your organization. In other words, they'll be able to collaborate and work on these tours with you, allowing you to create more tours at a faster pace. This works great for agencies or photographers that collaborate together, or in situations where you may want to enlist a service that you would like to create tours for you 
In that particular situation, you're able to create a temporary user for the third-party service rather than giving them access to your main account. One thing worth mentioning with having multiple users is although Panelskin allows you to collaborate and work on tours together, once the tour has been published to Street View, it is associated with the person that published the Street View tour. In this case, this tour was published by Panelskin Beta at gmail.com. So the owner of the tour is PanelskinBeta at gmail.com. And the user that I'm currently logged in as, PanelskinFrank at gmail.com, does not have access to this tour. So although PanelskinFrank can upload new scenes and create new connections, the owner of the tour is PanelskinBeta. And only PanelskinBeta can publish and unpublish the tour from Street View. In most situations, this shouldn't be a problem. However, what if you want to transfer ownership from one owner to another? In this situation, since the owner of the tour is Panelskin Beta, Panelskin Beta would have to unpublish the tour first. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that I'm logged in as Panelskin Beta, I can move to that tour and I can unpublish it. Once the tour has been unpublished, I log out and log back in as Panelskin Frank. then I'll have the ability of publishing the tour because it is no longer on Google. And when I click publish, the tour will be published to Google Street View on behalf of Panelskin Frank. And once this happens, you can see the owner has changed from Panelskin Beta to Panelskin Frank because now this, Google, this tour is published to Google on behalf of PanelskinFrank at gmail.com. And that concludes part two of our introduction to Panelskin. Please stay tuned as our team is continuously working on both improving the platform and adding new features. Thank you.